What's up guys? So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a little bit more that we're gonna be doing for the preparation of the JBA Shorty Header install. Um, a few more ports showed up for that and also I gotta get them prepped. I'm gonna wrap them with DEI heat wrap. So I'm gonna to attempt to do that today. And I say attempt because these headers are basically like pretzels. They're tight, uh, wraps, and basically all the tubes and runners run all around each other and there's basically no space to get any sort of wrap or anything around it. So I'm going to have to be a little bit creative. I'm going to attempt to basically get it done and do it to the best that I think that we can get it as far as wrapping goes. Okay, so here's the headers, of course. And then let me just walk you through what we got. So here we got uh, Felpro gaskets. So they're as good, if not better, than the OEM gaskets. A lot of people swear by these ones, so they're multi-layered steel. And of course, they have the heat shield on them. So we're gonna be able to situate these heat shields. I might have to bend them once we get to the install so that they actually fit correctly, but we will manage to get those on. Next, you're gonna see we finally have the Stage 8 fasteners. If you guys aren't familiar with these, they're basically a locking type fastener, which is super cool. So you can kind of see the illustration on the back here. Basically, you put the bolt in, they're really good grade bolts, and then they have this uh, patented design where basically you put this tab on there and you situate it <clears throat> in a fashion where when you put the bolt in, where it can't loosen itself because the tab will end up hitting the runner So before it's able to loosen. So you can kind of see they give you a combination of these tabs here along with the bolts. So. The bolt have that locking mechanism on them and you put the c-clip in to retain it so super cool stuff I'm gonna be using those um, they are obviously gonna be more of a pain to install but I'd rather do this once and not have to worry about bolts loosening so that's the direction we're going of course we have the DEI titanium exhaust wrap in one inch so that we can deal with these tight bends and tight places that we have also have stainless steel uh, locking ties so we have these basically they go in they have a little locking mechanism if you guys haven't seen these before they're basically like a big zip tie <clears throat> and then we have the DEI locking tie tool that I bought it's only about eight bucks for this thing but you can kind of see the illustration there where you can get these super tight so that you don't have to worry about your wrap coming in none so that's what we want to do and that's pretty much it for this stuff guys i'm gonna go ahead and try to start wrapping this stuff i don't know if i'm gonna have enough of this so i kind of want to do this see where we're at see if it's gonna be possible and go from there this is a 50 foot roll but of course it's only one inch wide so i'm not sure how far we're gonna get i know these headers aren't big but i think we'd be surprised on how much we're gonna end up eating up just trying to wrap and get around around some things so this is what i was mentioning if you guys look there's literally no gaps whatsoever in between these runners and even here there's no gaps around the back side it's all tight here so it's gonna be fun trying to wrap these things it's not gonna be fun but I do want to basically these big uh, u-shaped turns on these runners I want to make sure I can at least cover those because those are the ones that kind of protrude away from everything um, and those are gonna be the ones that are gonna be getting closer to everything else you know wiring and uh, steering boots and all that kind of stuff so let's go ahead see where we're at we'll try attempting uh, wrapping this stuff okay so as I was explaining there really is no room on these JBA headers they're almost or pretty much touching in some spots which I'm actually a little bit concerned about because um, especially right here if you, I don't know if you guys can even see that but this is touching there but not welded to it and if you look in not that you guys can see in there but it's not welded to here. I'm a little bit concerned that this being basically touching or rubbing on there might cause a bit of vibration and I don't wanna hear this rattling or vibrating. So I'm a little bit concerned about that one. Um, but basically the tactic is going to be, even here, like you would think I could maybe double up and wrap around these two, but you can't because if you look around the back, then we have this tube touching here. So that ruins that idea. And then you go, okay, well, maybe we can just wrap these two flip it around then we got this one here <laughs> and you can't fit anything in between there so and then you go okay well let's go around all these three you know one two three we'll go around the whole thing well you flip it around and then this one becomes in your way so that's the fun that we're faced with what we're gonna try and do is basically I'm gonna start with doing each runner so we'll do basically um, I'm gonna run this one so wrap this one the first one 
then we're going to wrap this one but I'm going to basically start it around here get a couple wraps around here and then we'll finish it on the runner because basically if you look at any of the videos they start them and then they finish them on the end with the metal tie here so we're gonna do that so we're gonna start this one here work our way up get a couple revolutions here where we can go around a couple times finish it on this runner and then I'm going to do this one because this is the one that I'm really worried about. So I'm gonna basically start it here, wrap it all the way around. It's gonna finish over there somewhere. And then over here, we're kinda just gonna have to wing it. I'm gonna see if I can get a few revolutions through here and we're gonna have to kinda go around and I'm gonna see how it looks. We might abandon this section, but we'll see. And then hopefully get something in around here. But again, we can't get anything around here. so. If I wrap here and I wrap there, I have a feeling this is going to be a void, but let's see what we can do. We'll do the best we can and we'll, we'll assess it in a minute. Okay, so we got the first runner done. You can see it came out real nice in my opinion. So basically, like I said, I started here, worked my way up. We went around this little, um, I believe this is the EGR uh, port here but basically uh, put it all around just use that tool and came out with a super clean you guys can see that super clean finish there and this thing is super tight as well with that tool so i'm happy with this little finish some people um, turn it and then cut it off but i kind of like putting this little extra little uh, spool on the end so that it's um, kind of bounds up and if this little locking mechanism fails this basically roll here is going to stop it from going in. Um, another thing just to mention is these headers are super slippery with this stainless steel coating on them. So I kind of had to make uh, a bump in the first part of the wrap. So I kind of folded it over and then hooked it behind where these two uh, runners meet and basically hooked it behind and that's where I was able to tug and get it to stop and then I started wrapping it. So this thing's super tight. Uh, let's keep going. We still have quite a bit of the roll but I have a feeling it's going to basically eat up an entire roll doing this one side, but let's keep going and see where we end up. Okay, so here's the other runner wrapped. I guess my camera somehow didn't record, but basically we started off, started at the bottom here, again, pinched it between these two runners. That's where I caught it because these are super slippery on these runners. So I basically uh, doubled it up, folded it over like DEI wants you to do, and then pinched it between the two, and then I started my wrap, went all the way around. And these two are touching, so there's a little bit of a gap there, but not much. And then just finished here, of course, and put our steel tie. Uh, one thing I'll mention too is DI kind of has like this method of how you can measure it out where you basically put it around and then you basically, so you're gonna see, you know, bound it up there and then you're gonna go around and put it with a quarter inch overlap and you're gonna see how many times you would need to use it that's an estimate i the way i like to do it it takes longer a little bit more tedious i try to get it as far as i can down the pipe with doubling it back because you're going to see that it's going to start getting bound up as, you know the more you go around and you're gonna have to keep doubling it back through but i like to do that until it just gets too overwhelming and it gets you pretty far down the pipe before it starts getting doubled up and bound out and you can kind of guess the second half of the pipe so that you don't end up wasting much this is how much i wasted so obviously i was a little bit generous with it but i still made it all the way to the end and i only had whatever that is six inches extra rather than having too much extra or too little by the time you get down because this stuff is super expensive it's not cheap especially for this titanium version of it it's uh, a lot a lot more expensive than the regular stuff so that's the way I do it. I get it as far as I can till I can't and I run out of room and then I'll guess the last bit with that method of kind of doubling over and seeing how many loops you have. So next, what I'm going to do is this is getting kind of confusing guys, but basically it's hard to get wrap around these things, especially on this side. Um, the other side on the opposing uh, cylinder bank is a little bit easier. It's not so congested, but this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna wrap th these three runners, one, two, and three. I'm gonna wrap these three, but not this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around these three, make it around, finish on this runner. And then the last, I'm gonna start over here, go around, 
and I'm gonna finish on this runner this is kind of the tactic I'm gonna use so because over here you're kind of gonna have a there's gonna be a gap here I'm almost guaranteeing it because this runner is basically eating up this whole area where we have to come across but I'm gonna try and do the best I can so we'll do that and uh, let's keep going okay so again here's the tactic I basically bound it up so that it's pinched back there I kind of just rolled it up a few times this is stuck in here and now this is how I'm gonna start wrapping around is by going around you know a bunch of times until we finish on this runner over here all right guys this is what we got so far i'm very happy with the outcome uh, hopefully you guys can agree basically we got uh, three of the runners covered so you can see one two and three so if you guys didn't follow along or, you know, just for clarification, basically I wrapped this one first till about this point. Second, I wrapped this one. So I started down here just where it met this runner, wrapped around here. And then last, I started here, worked my way across and finished here. So you can kind of see how this one overlaps nicely, holds everything in place. And then the final one, I basically have to get another roll at this point. Final one I'm going to do from here. And to come across and finish on this last runner here and again you can kind of see where a lot of these runners touch you can't get full coverage but that is pretty good for uh, for my uh, liking so you can kind of see here it's kind of almost impossible because like I said you can't can't get anything on that one there because this is touching here so that's uh, that's okay I mean we pretty much got all coverage but here we're gonna cover through here and like I said finish on this last runner here so that's basically what we got guys but um i can probably make do with this but i'm gonna go ahead and order more and then we're gonna finish the job after what i did here on the last uh, section is i doubled it over you can see i folded it right here and i pinched it between these two and started because this stuff is super slippery you can't really get it to grab even if you fold it and wrap it around on itself so i've been using this method where i kind of pinch it in there um, between one of the runners so that uh, it stops so you can see it's you can tug on it and it's not going anywhere so this is what we're going to do and we're going to start it from basically here i'm not going to run it right up to the end um the stock factory exhaust runs to there no issues so i'm not going to take it there plus you know with having bolts in here i don't want to be ripping it and it getting in the way with the ties so i think taking it to here should be plenty so let's go ahead we're going to carry it through and then hopefully finish over here on this runner All right guys, so here we pretty much have it all covered. We have every single runner covered, and we have the main body covered. And this is how it looks on the other side. We also have our steel ties here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more steel ties on just to kind of secure everything all along. So I'm gonna put one, of course, at the start. I might put one, a few of the main uh, intersections here, so where some of them kind of uh, started and stopped. So I'm gonna put one here, probably around here, here and then I'm actually going to double up at the ends on the runners because that's where everything is held together so I'm going to put two on the end just because I have the space you don't have to of course but I'm just going to do it just to be safe because I don't want to have to be redoing this so I'm going to put a few more ties on it but other than that this one's done all right she's all done these are all the extra ties that I put on just to secure everything would look a little nicer without them but I do not want to be doing this again anytime soon so and then this is the way that I doubled up on everything I kind of did them, you know, one going this way, tightening that way, and one the opposite direction, just to try to make sure that this thing's secure as possible. So on each runner, I doubled up, like you can see, and just these on here. So this one's all done. This one's bare. I'm just trying to plan out how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started on the other side. Okay, guys, so the plan is with this, we're going to basically leave a hump here to catch so that we can start tying and uh basically wrapping i guess i should say but i'm gonna put a hump behind so basically i'm just gonna fold this over maybe two or three times to create a bump like this so that i can snug it between here so i can get something to start from because basically you want to start at the beginning of the runner and end basically where it uh, meets the head and in order to do that this stuff is super slippery um, you can try basically DEI's method is you know you fold it over nicely and then you go around but that stuff just this stuff is so slippery that it doesn't catch so putting that hump in there you can see how tight it is and I can get it and then at the same time too once I put this one bump in here with this wrap 
when I go to start this one, I can hopefully catch on that bump from the other side and start my wrap around. So that's the tactic. We got another new 50 foot roll. So basically this was the remnants of the other 50 foot roll. Um, of course, one inch by 50 feet. So this is the remnants uh, of that other roll. So we basically use one 50 foot roll for each one. So this one should get this done, but let's go ahead and start. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and get the shortest runner out of the way, this tiny little guy here. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I basically doubled it up, got it stuck in there and I wrapped around. It's uh, gonna take up the remnants of the other uh, roll that we use from the other header. So since I only have this little piece, might as well put it to good use instead of completely tossing it. And we'll go ahead and wrap this. All right, so same as the other side, I'm gonna put two uh, steel bands on it just to secure it, one in one direction, one in the other, so they're both pulling from different directions. So we got two of them on here. Let's go ahead and move to the next runner. So next runner I'm gonna tackle, uh, like I was saying, we'll do, we'll do this short little one, get this guy out of the way, followed by this one. And then last, I'm gonna follow up with this super long one and finish over here. So let's continue. All right, so we now have the second runner done. Um, not second in respect to the manifold, but just second that I've tackled here. Um, one thing I wanted to go over with you guys is my tactic here with the ties. I think I may have said it before, but basically I'm pulling, I'm putting two opposing ones. So one's pulling one direction, one's pulling the opposite. I also like to leave about two inches of the tie, so I trim it. And then using this tool, I basically round it up. The reason for leaving this is there is a little ball that basically, um, a ball mechanism that stops the tie and that's what kind of binds it but in event that maybe that fails if I put enough of a coil here it might help to keep this tie somewhat in place and keep it tight so that's why I kind of put a bigger coil on it because you could really just cut this coil off if you want but that's just kind of some reinsur reassurance in case uh, maybe that ball fails so these two are done and also one other thing to note just a small detail is I am putting this one kind of looks a little bit crazy but it was the end of the other roll but you're not going to see it um, and in regards to that, I'm putting these bands on the bottom, um, I guess you could say where, where you're not going to see it. So this is the way the manifold looks, but, um, this is the way it looks from the top. So you won't see that on the bottom. So same tactic on this one. Basically I just rolled up a tiny bit so that it could catch, fed it around and now it's snug. You can, you know, lift the whole thing by it. So it is caught. And what we're gonna do is to tie this up so you don't kind of see this here, what we're doing is once we start here and work our way across on this last runner, we'll be wrapping all this before heading to that last runner. So that's kind of how I'm planning it. Um, you might ask why I didn't do this runner instead of this runner. Basically, there's nothing that I can catch the wrap on this first uh, runner. So that's why I'm choosing to do this one. I mean, you could really realistically do either one, but um, this one I found was a nice spot where I could catch the wrap start going around and then like I said this one will complete it cover all of our all of our um, start points and then we'll come across and finish here so let's keep going okay so here's this runner all done with the two ties on it like so so this came out very nice and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the final, hopefully, winding. I'm hoping that we have enough, but we'll find out. So we're gonna start here, work our way around, get all four, and then follow on to this one pipe to the end. Okay, guys, so we got the wrap fully on. Again, this is gonna be the bottom. That's why all of our um, uh, ties are on the bottom where you can see the actual clamp portion of it, but this is everything we got And I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more ties just on the uh, <clears throat> The different joint sections and then uh, this is done. All right guys. I'm happy to say that we are finished. So This is a long task a very tedious task. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, with a bit of planning like I was showing you guys uh, you can get it done and can get it done um, well. So I did take some extra precautions to make sure that nothing's gonna come out. So like I said, some of the ones where we started here, I put a tie there, I put a tie there since we started these two there. I doubled up on the very beginning um, just because. 
and basically doubled up on the ends as well because this stuff is expensive if we were using regular header wrap it's not that expensive but this stuff um even if it was regular header wrap you don't want it to be coming undone because really trying to wrap this and do what we just did without it on a bench and on the actual vehicle is going to be next to impossible um i don't think anybody wants to be laying on their back you know trying to wrap this stuff or laying in an engine bay and trying to get it around you know if you're laying on the back you might you know have all this fiberglass getting in your face it's just nasty stuff to try to work with so um this is it here's the two of them this one kind of looks like an armadillo <laughs> but uh yeah they're both uh both came out great now they're ready to go on the vehicle but any questions guys be sure to leave uh your comments or questions uh down below okay so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up for me um, it lets me know that you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, or any of the above. And also make sure to leave your comments in the comments below because I like to get a discussion going there as well. If you're stopping into the channel for the first time, make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. We've covered a lot of stuff and we're doing a lot more as well. So make sure you also hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so you're notified of the latest videos. And if you're not following on Instagram, be sure to check out the Instagram channel or page it's boosted motorsports no spaces so check us out there i like to post some live videos of when i'm actually working so you guys can do that i can interact with you there on a live basis as well and i'm also posting stuff there that i'm not always posting on youtube so be sure to check that out as well and thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next video